Hey everyone! Welcome to Cat's Cations live on a Friday night and I can't find my paper. Here it is. And my paper. Um, today we're going to be making a... I've gotten this wrong a couple times. Enter at your own risk haunted house sign. Uh, the sign, it's popping up everywhere but the minute that it pops up um, it sells out. Uh, the last time I saw it was Deco Exchange. So, um, but they sold out. Like the instant they got them in, they went right back out. So, um, keep checking Craft Outlet, the Reshop, Trendy Tree. Um, you can just like kind of Google Etsy maybe for um, enter at your own risk, a uh, Halloween sign. But I just thought I'd get this out there and get it in the shop and get it ready to go. So, we're making another Halloween wreath. Um, I wish I had my book here too. Um, no, not that book. <laughs> I'm like my planner, so I would also know what we're covering on Sunday. I don't remember. I have everything like planned for like the whole week because this is busy week. So it's Friday night live, and then it's Saturday night wreath of the month group, and then it's Sunday private group slash Sunday public group. This is really super busy week, and so many people requested so many different things that we make. So I'm like trying to make sure we squeeze it all in. Okay, so we are doing a fall wreath on Sunday in the public group, which is at six. Thanks, Steve. Okay, so if you like this design, you want to put it together once your sign comes in and all your deck can match, just click the share button. It shares it to your page, much easier for you to find than try to dig through all of my videos and all the stuff that I post daily. You can also find it on my YouTube channel tonight, so as soon as we're done, We'll go ahead and get this video uploaded to the YouTube channel, which is Cats Creations Wreaths. Um, let's see, if you want to be notified when we go live on Facebook, make sure you click the like and follow button. Once you're on the follow button like you are right now, just go ahead and tap your screen. Three little dots in the upper right hand corner will appear. Click those three dots. A little sub menu will pop open. You'll want to look for where it says turn live notifications on or turn live notifications off. That's how you go ahead and set that notification up on your Facebook page to let you know when your favorite people are going live. Um, if you're new here, let us know also where you're from because a lot of times you'll see that other people that join our Facebook group are going to want to get together with you and hopefully you'll find a crafting buddy here. Um, YouTube subscribers, if you want to be notified when we drop a new video into our channel, just make sure you hit the subscription bell or the subscribe button of following at the very bottom in the description window. It should say just uh, subscribe as well. And I think we're ready to go. Ready? Yep. Okay. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. So we're back to the work frame wreath. Why? Because this made such a gorgeous wreath the last time. Um, it actually, the last one that we made, the Salem, Old Salem Broom Company, uh, sold the very next day. So this one's going to be a different play on the color. So rather than doing a black base, we're going to do a high foil metallic because we're going to go a lot more metallic. The sign actually has glitter. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but the shingle designs that are laid out on the sign are actually black glitter. So I wanted to add a little bit more sparkle and a little bit more metallic to this design. Um, deco mesh, we're gonna go ahead and start with a 21 inch poof base. This deco mesh came from Hobby Lobby. So I want you guys to understand, cause sometimes you're like, I can't find any of my supplies through the online retailers. Um, so this is a way to tap into your retail places where you can go in like Hobby Lobby, Joann's and Michael's and if you get what's called the premium mesh, meaning that there's foil in every single um, row, this is gonna create a really nice soft base for you and give you that lot of sparkle, heavy, heavy metallic shine. And then we're gonna come back in and we're gonna add some curls in black and orange metallic again, just to give you different tones, different shades. Um, we'll add our ribbon tails, our half bows, create a bow, add our sign, and then we should be done. So on this particular frame, it is a 14 inch base, meaning that from the outside to the outside, it's just the same size as the Dollar Tree. It does have nine um, tinsel ties to the outside. 
It also has nine to the inside. It's not what we would call an elevated rail. An elevator rail would which mean if it comes up and then stays up, this comes up and then immediately goes back down. So we don't have to struggle to cover the depth like you would if it went up and stayed up in an elevated form. Did you have a question, Steve? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're gonna start with a zip tie and your 21 inch, and I like to start in the middle. So what is easy to do is just gather your ends, because this is where it frays. Wherever you cut it, or in this case, wherever it begins, because the edge is already finished, I'm gonna drop this down below. Make sure everything is up. And I'm gonna go directly underneath one of my inside pipe cleaners. So I'm gonna take the outside ones and just kind of get those out of the way. So we just focus on the inside. And I'm gonna go right under, I'm gonna flip this over. I'm going right under one of my uh, tinsel ties and I'm gonna zip tie this directly to my frame. This happens to also sit in a cross member, which is a good place to start. It prevents it from sliding anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie the whole thing. And then we'll start our poops. Make sure my trash can didn't fall over. So I'm gonna do these at 10 inches. So I'm just gonna measure out my 10. I wanna make sure that my material is unfolded, that it doesn't remain bunched. And I'm gonna go right into my first section in here. We're just gonna give it a good twist, just like that. And then we're gonna go through and finish all the inside ones at 10 inches. That's just my measurement. You could go eight inches, you could go 12 inches. I find that if you do it this way, you'll have just enough mesh to finish your wreath depending upon your design. So this is what I'm saying, make sure it's all undone because you don't want that to stay folded. You wanna see those waves of the mesh material you've created. Thank you for sharing, Joan. Yes, thank you. And stars, right? Because I always forget to talk about stars. Stars are basically tips. One star is equal to one cent. So when people, you see people when they're like send some someone's old 50 stars, it just means they sent you 50 cents. So it's just Facebook's way of allowing you guys to interact with us um, and tip us, I guess. It's just a new thing Facebook has going on. So that's what the stars are that you see at the bottom. Thank you for sharing, Deborah. There's a uh, Janice who said, hi, I'm new, but in a nursing home. So just love watching crafts. Hard for me to craft myself, but I, I, I can't walk. Oh. So, thank you for watching, Janice. We love having you here join us. Hey. So ask, how do you make the one on the back door very cute? That's another tutorial. Yeah, that is another tutorial. That's just a ribbon. Um, so it's just done with, um, I'm trying to see, did I do it all? I did it all in two and a half inch ribbon. So it does take four rolls of two and a half inch ribbon. It takes a lot of ribbon, um, but that's the desired look that you get just doing a regular ribbon wreath, I guess. No mesh, just all ribbon. Yes. I'm not sure if I did that in the public group or if I did it in the private group. I don't remember. So I'm always making sure that my mesh is all unfolded. It will always have a tendency to fold up under itself. So this is what I'm constantly doing is making sure that I have a really good full poof before I go ahead and place it inside my pipe cleaner. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon and Paula sent you 50 stars. Thank you very much. Okay. And then we're 
finishing up the inside. We have two more to go. And as you can see, it's really filling in the inside pretty nice, which will make for a really good base for our sign so it doesn't fall into the center of the hole. Another one. Thanks, Pam. Pam also sent 50 stars. Thank you, Pam. Peggy okay. said you can make wreaths in your lab if you use the unique in the creek boards. You can, but all the prep work has proven to be pretty tough. Yeah. I think, well, it just depends. You'd have to have like all of your materials there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just one of those things where it's likely to happen. You would end up oh, I forgot this, or I forgot that, and then you have to get back up. So this is my last poop on the inside. And this is joining. See, I'm trying to get my inside one, because it folded way over, so that I can get a solid, good poop in here. I'm trying to find They like to hide. So you can see how nice the high foil does a great job at providing a ton of sparkle. And I'm gonna move all my pipe cleaners from the inside back to the outside, just in case I need them. And now that I've met where I started, this is kind of where they spill over to the bottom. So you sometimes have to push them out of the way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop down right here to this one right below. You kind of want to look at the placement of your pipe cleaners because sometimes they're a little too close. So you have to kind of leap over to the side. And this one is perfect. And the sign actually she got from Deco Exchange. Deco Exchange. So you'll start to see a lot of, these are the same house signs that came out at springtime. Um, they did a home sweet home, it's good to be home. They did a spring live grows here one. And so now what you're starting to see is you're gonna start to see the house reemerge, but now the house is done up for the holidays. So this is the Halloween version of that house. There is a fall version coming. Uh, there's two different Christmas ones coming. There's a Christmas barn coming. Um, I got one of the two Christmas signs in, but I haven't gotten the other one in yet. So I'm finishing up. Am I finishing up? I think June. Taking a look. I'm starting to incorporate some fall. So it'll kind of be like maybe two fall to every one Halloween we do. So, believe it or not, our Hobby Lobby actually started carrying their, they started putting out the Christmas ribbon. So that's gonna be a great place for you to get ribbon. And because there's such a premium on supplies, because of the supply issue going on in China and no more um, container ships are making its way this way. It's going to be a little tough on supplies this year. So if you find something you love at Hobby Lobby, please don't wait for it to go on sale at 40% off. By the time you come back, it will be gone. So whatever Hobby Lobby is going to have out this year is probably going to be it. I don't think they'll be getting a restock in. So, um, be sharing that throughout the week. What I'm seeing as far as new Hobby Lobby ribbon this year that did not come out last year. There's a couple that are kind of playing within the same palettes. Um, there's some new country rustic ribbon. So I'll try to share that with you guys over the weekend. So Pam and Ravina, you're really gonna have to try to search all over the place for these types of signs because- They're hard to find. They're hard to find. Kat, Kat did a whole day search of trying to find stuff for the holidays and it really took her a long time to put 
put everything together and order all of this stuff. By the time I caught this sign, I was able to order, I think I ordered two, and um, then they were sold out, like immediately sold out. That's how fast. And I don't know how many they get in. I want to say it's a quantity of maybe 12. So when they go, they're going to go quick. So I think even during the springtime when I got the Home Sweet Home and Love Blooms here, um, they sold out instantaneously. But now those are coming back in, all the ones that were sold out before, which are great for everyday race, but um, now everyone wants the seasonal. Since I like the mesh and your hair looks great, yes it does. Thank you for saying that. Today is just one of those. I like how you just have really bad hair days. That was my today, really bad hair day. I'm like, do I want to just throw it up? Do I want to just leave it down? Do I want to curl it? Do I want to yeah, cut it off? Great. You want to cut it off? Yeah. So here in the West, we're enduring another record wave of intense heat. Like Washington and Oregon are getting hit with temperatures they've never seen before. 112, 115. That's like what we are used to expecting here on the desert floor. And they're seeing those, I think Sunday is when those are supposed to hit. Yeah. But thankfully they won't, for them, they won't last very long. For us, it's summer, so. Yeah, but for them up there, they were saying that they're only like 30% of the homes have air conditioning. Yeah, most of the homes there don't have air. So it's gonna be really brutal. So we shall see. So pray for rain. It's always pray for rain for people who need the rain and the people who don't need the rain are the ones that are getting too much rain and need for the rain to stop. Right now she said, my Happy Lobby has all its Christmas ribbon out. They also said the same. If you see something you like, buy it because buy it. it might not be getting it back in. Yeah, I mean, I think I didn't I didn't pick any of the fall because the fall was all the same stuff I've seen before. Um, same fall picks. I didn't see anything new. Um, they didn't quite have all their. They hadn't pulled all the ribbon down, but the ribbon that I did see, I think I just picked up rolls that were new, to color palettes I already had from last year. Thank you, Jenny. Jenny sent fifty stars. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. And we are finishing up with our last one. We are rejoining our top. So this is our last one. And because this mesh is so thick, I mean, it is so thick, there is no point in me trying to go through and add in what would be called the third row. So I am just going to finish this. I'm going to cut this off. There's not that much on my roll. And I'm going to take the end, bring it back into the center, which is right where I left off. So I'm going to feed that piece on the inside. And we're going to go ahead and zip tie that. So that, this should be fray free. Should be. Now I just gotta get my zip tie in amongst. I don't want it going through my mesh. Just right here. So I can secure my ends and zip it to my frame. Uh, Jenny asked, what do you say to go who had the sign? Well, that question had it, but it sold out. Yeah. You could try. Uh, try it everywhere. Everywhere. Waterman's Loft. Um, you can just go to Etsy and type in enter at your own risk haunted house sign. Um, it's it's going to be hard to find. I don't think that everyone's quite got the full inventory in for that yet. So I think some people may have ordered it. They just don't have it in yet. So I'm going to double check and make sure all of my pipe cleaners are both to the outside. Okay, 
So we've got our full base, so now I'm gonna come in and thicken it up and kind of break up all the orange. But see, this is what it looks like if you take this really nice dark sign and you just place it on a solid orange base. It takes what little orange there is in the sign and really pops it. But we're gonna come in and add some little darker deco mesh curls just to kind of give it some personality. And we're gonna go all through the entire design. So this is where I will use my Bodabra. And these curls are all cut to 10 inch pieces. So we're just gonna curl these and we're gonna put one orange and one black in each one of the 18 uh, tinsel ties. So they the 21 inch uh, high foil uh, Hobby from Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Yeah. So see Hobby Lobby has good mesh. I only, generally I'll only buy Hobby Lobby premium mesh because it's really thick and really nice. This is going to have a lot of mesh in it. This is going to have a lot of mesh. So I'm just creating three sets of bundles and then I can go in and add those fairly quickly and you'll see how it'll kind of add a different look to this. You could just leave it like that and try to come back in and accent with, um, I would probably definitely go heavier black ribbon. So I'm just going to crisscross these and these are going to go in right on top of every single twist. So there's one, crisscross again. This is why knowing where your pipe, your little tinsel ties are is helpful. There's two, so there's one, two, there's our second, our third set. I just find loading them uh, three sets at a time just makes it so much easier to go in. And add those. So to get your curls started sometimes, it's really hard to get it going. Just fold the first part of your tinsel ties or the deco mesh. And then it'll just kind of unfoil or I uncurl. Hi, gal, just join in. That one. I like taking stuff that's your traditional Halloween colors and just finding different colors and shades and textures. So I'm trying to make these a lot more thick, a lot more, like a lot more to them. That one. Trying to make sure they don't fling on the floor. Yeah, they know she's going to put the curls on every single tie. Mm -hmm. A set of black and a set of orange. And they're cut to 10 inch. Yeah. There's no point if you're doing curls to cut them any bigger than that. So make an X, place them directly in the center, give it two good twists. I usually make sure I have one of each end facing me. So just to do the inside ones, it's going to take me loading my bow dabber about three times. Yeah, the yep, deco change is sold out, but keep checking in and check every place you can. Yeah, I don't think Craft Outlet has gotten them in yet. I don't think like check trendy tree you know go to amazon and type in how um, enter at your own risk halloween house sign i guess would be the best way to figure it probably even do it through google and see what pops up yeah you could because you never know somebody might just have randomly bought a ton of them and now just off selling them Okay, we're doing good. So I said I love the traditional colors too. I do too. But what do you think? What do you guys think would be traditional colors for fall? They think 
Halloween just gears to red or no orange and black maybe orange black and white I think the non-traditional is when we start entering adding the lime green and purple to it Clarence said trendy tree is sold out see and I think when you order them you have to order them in quantities of 12 so you figure if people go online and at least order two, that's only six people and then they go sold out. And I don't know how many they allowed each person, like if you're a supplier, to order. And so do you have the SKU on the sign in the back? That's where we have found things. Yeah, the, the, well, the SKU will be available for the private group. Yeah, you'll get a materials list in my private group, so it'll have all that information on there. Yikes. I mean, I just found it just Googling um, enter at your own risk Halloween house sign. And you know how you get those little images that pop up on Google that'll say like, here's a ton of people that are selling them. And you just go to all those places and see if there's any available. And some of them will place, um, you'll, you can email when they come back in stock. So those are nice. And this is my last one to the inside. Tammy said so the reshop had them, but now I see they've sold out. Craft you, doesn't have them. Just an FYI, Amazon doesn't have them either. Yeah, you'll just have to probably keep checking in every couple of days. Um, one, oops, I knew that was gonna happen. Two, three, one, two, three. So now we're going to the outside. So this is where you're gonna add some dimension to the outside. Because we just, all we have is our tinsel ties sticking out. So we need to thicken that up as well. Sometimes you wish you could roll these quicker. At least I'm not cutting them. That'd just be a way too long life. My yes, we use the wood burning tool to cut all the 10 inch decoration. Yes. Steve's my sous chef. I was ribbon cutting and he was deco mesh cutting. Okay, last. So we should load this two more times after this. And then we can. Here's our curls, and we're going to go to the outside. I'm not opening my tinsel ties. I'm just laying them right on top, giving them two additional twists, pulling the little tubes towards me, just to make sure I get them to come down to the outside. So same X. Right to the outside, there. So this one I think I will probably make for, not this, but I will probably make one similar for our front. I like this one. Unless one of my kids decides to come and abduct another wreath. You may say, I love this, but is it smart to use all this deco mesh on one design for us? You don't have to. Yeah. Um, I am because I'm trying to go a little bit thicker and richer on some of my designs. So this is going to be way full, way thick. You could stop at the regular, you know, just do the poof at the bottom. Um, when you do that, like on this particular design, I think you're, you would have to come back in. You would have to find a way to add a lot more black to all the orange, just to break up all that orange tinsel ties, orange metallic um, base. So you'd have to come in with some pretty heavy back black. That's all to the eye of the crafter. Yeah. For me, I have a ton of 21 inch, so I'm trying to use it up. And then only doing 10 inch curls, um, I'm only using a half a roll of um, the orange and a half a roll of black. 
probably less than that, right? Yeah. 10 and 10. Yeah. 180, 180, 360. Yeah. Plus, if you didn't know, she's really kind of matching this, the colors of the orange and the sign because it's like a two tone orange. There's a lighter orange and a darker orange. And then the ribbon. There's like a darker orange ribbon and a lighter orange ribbon. So I just want different textures all the way around. I really want to fill it so it's full. Let's get back here. And then we have one more set to go. See, it starts to make it very thick and very full. And it doesn't matter which ones you put on the bottom versus which ones you put on the top. You can see sometimes I forget as I'm rolling and I'll put two black. It doesn't matter because I'll always grab one black, one orange. just my helping hand. You could do it one at a time, you know, do, but you're sure going to have to hold one until you get the, the other color rolled. So the bow dabber just makes for a really handy holder. So here we go. Happy Friday. Loving the fact it's Friday. Okay. So now this one's all set. So now we have a very, very full base. So now we're going to add our tails and our half bows to the outside. Then we'll add our bow at our sign and if we need to embellish anywhere else we definitely can so what I'm using is the two and a half inch so this is like a spider web a bat and skeletons because all of those are in that sign and then this really gorgeous gray and black damask ribbon and these are all cut to 14 inch pieces so these are gonna go all the way around just the outside, I guess it's outside nine. So I'm gonna alternate colors just to kind of trim out the outside pieces. Love this black. It reminds me of the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland, like the wallpaper they would have. So I'm just taking those and placing them again inside and then pulling the tails to the outsides. So just pinch them in the middle, place them inside your tinsel tie, give them a twist, and then just pull them to the outside. So they frame it really nice. I think the last one we did, our sign was a little smaller, so we were, at, I, were able to add some to the inside, but we'll see what this one does. Okay. This should go really easy because we're not doing 12 to the outside, we only have nine. Black. And those are cut at your 14 inches? Mm -hmm. You have all the paper, you have all the measurements. Yeah, 14 inches. So where they come from. 
um, the black damask. This, the black and gray, came from Craft Outlet. Um, the Halloween print with the hollow, the skeletons, the spiders, and bats came from Pinky Jeb, which is on Etsy. The inch and a half orange with bats is from Pringle. No. Oh, the inch and a half. Inch yeah. And a half. yeah. I haven't gotten that far. But yeah. Yeah, the bat and then the inch and a half gray and black plaid with raised white stitching. Is that craft outlet? Yes. Okay. So remember, because this one has the um, odd number, what I do for the odd number pipe cleaners, I put both two and a half inch in it. So it has one of each. This generally goes under my bow, but we'll separate it here. Just like this and I'll spin it. So here's the one that has the double and then everything else is a single. So now we're gonna alternate. We're gonna put the orange bat with the eek. It's gonna go on our black and gray and then our black and gray is going to go on our orange. These are cut to 18 inch pieces and we're doing half bows which is bring your edges together. Two inches from the top you're going to go ahead and pinch in and then you're going to lay this directly into your two and a half inch ribbon. You're going to give it your twist you're going to open your loop. You have to orient, flip this one so it's facing the right direction. And that's going to be how we finish that piece. And we're going to come back in and add some gray and orange styrofoam balls to the ends just to kind of dress up that tinsel. So it kind of looks like we intentionally wanted it to be there rather than, hey, it's just there, we had to use it. So as you can see, when I spin this around, that's the look you're getting. So we're playing to the gray, white, orange, and black. What do you guys think so far? Yeah, they're getting a lot of likes and loves. See, I'm trying to think traditional fall colors. Orange, uh, brown, golds, reds. Fall has a lot. Well, does anyone know where you get small fuzzy spiders? Mm -hmm. I would try to find maybe a place like a party city. Or even yes. look at like Oriental Trading Company, places like that. Yes, that would be really good. Those are really good ideas. Or Amazon. Or Amazon. Because you have them for like party supplies. Yeah, I think Oriental Trading Company might have to order quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. No, I didn't see. Hobby Lobby has no Halloween out, just fall. And Christmas right now, so I don't think they're gonna go Halloween. Yes, we heard about that morning. Uh, yeah, we shall be asking for prayers. We didn't hear about that. There was a building collapse in Florida that uh, trapped people inside. So I haven't they're still, heard that. Yeah, they're still working on trying to get people out. So do they know why the building collapsed? No, I don't think so. I'm sure there's gonna be an investigation. All on a Friday, right? People are looking forward to going home for the weekend. Yes. Well, definitely. That's so funny because it didn't come up in my Apple News trend this today. 
I know one thing that we use in the last couple of years that cats liked is if you remember the old when you were a kid getting the spider rings, the little oh, yeah. plastic spider rings. Sometimes you can use those as well and put those in your yeah because you can put them right into your um, pipe cleaners and just twist them on. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. And then we'll do our double for the the extra. Then we'll make our bow, add our sign. We'll see if there's any to the inside we need to address. And then we'll add some additional ribbon if there's any on the outside that we need to make sure. So the crazy one that has the extra, we're doing a double bow, which is just taking it your inch and a half ribbon, doing it, setting it up like a half bow. So we still started our two. We're gonna take the other one, do the same thing, but now you're going to stick them together. So you have opposites. Those are going right into my tinsel tie. And then what you get is a regular bow, but it has four tails to it. So I'll show you as soon as I collect my bow. Today said, I think it was yesterday when that building collapsed. Yesterday. And Jean said she heard on the news that the building has been sinking slowly for many years. Wow. But they never did anything about it. I do know in Florida, remember they've had those sinkholes before. Mm. Okay, so this is our double bow look. So there's the double bow. So now we are going to make our bow. I'm gonna move this off to the side. And we are going to, we're gonna put the black on the bottom because it's mostly sitting on an orange base. So black, then orange. So we're gonna do black solid. We're gonna keep from going way crazy on the patterns. Then we're gonna go, I'm gonna do it this way. If I do it that way, I might have to do it this way. I really wanted to break those up. I think we'll do it this way. It won't matter. Because even if I switch out these places, Hmm, we'll try that. Okay, so I'm gonna move these ones off to the side. It's easier for me to set up what I want to come next when I'm doing the bow, because then I don't have to think. I just grab the next one, do my measurements, and we're good to go. But we have to get a dovetail on here. So that just means bringing the wired edges together. We're gonna go from the folded side to our point, just like that. You get a really perfect tail. This one's going to be 10 inches. So we're gonna take it into tan. And I'm using my Bodabra because it's out. So we're gonna twist. It's always gonna be twist and then put it in between. Then we're gonna do five and a half inch loop for our tail. So we're gonna twist and then just verify our measurements. So we're right at five and a half. Just try to make sure it sits in there flat. Try again for five and a half. Make sure five and a half. And then we want to make sure. Clara, not always, but yes, yeah, she, she normally likes having a really clean work area where she does her crafting. And plus it's on the kitchen counter, so I think last time we checked, it's almost like a nine foot counter. That's a little bit taller for her to work. So. I think it's longer, right? Yeah. It might be longer. Oh um, no, you're right. It could, because I'm like, this is three feet, three. Yeah, it's probably a nine foot counter. Okay, that one's all done. So I will just make sure to keep these handy in case we need to add some more. We'll add our orange. This is gonna be a nine and a half inch tail. So we'll 
measure that. Twist it. Set everything up the exact same way. It's gonna be a very full bow. This is gonna be a five inch loop. So it's gonna be just a half inch shorter. So right at five. Make sure. I'm always bringing it back to the 10 because I measure everything to the left. And then this goes nine and a half. Trim. And then we said we're gonna go orange. So the solid orange and the solid black, inch and a half, are from Kringle Designs. That's Kringle, K-R-I-N-G-L-E, designs.us. They have their own website. If you click on their website and enter coupon code 50 slash 50, the prices you see are slashed in half. So don't freak out when you log on to their site and you're like, oh my God, the ribbon is $11. Now it's only $5.50. So it's in half. So it's kind of nice when you buy a whole bunch and then you get to the very end and you're like, oh, that's a lot. And then you're like, in half. So this one is a nine inch tail with a four and a half inch loop. Bring this all the way out. Let's make sure we get our dovetail. Say, yeah, Kringle Design has awesome ribbon. They really do. They're where I get all my solids from. So like when they have them in stock, you'll want to always make sure you have black. As you can tell, I've almost used the entire bowl of black and I just got it last year. So black is for Valentine's Day, black is for St. Patrick's Day, it's for um, Halloween, it's for Christmas, because you have your buffalo plaid and then you have your farmhouse throughout the year. So you use black solids quite a bit. Yeah, so just keep checking every couple days. Eventually they'll come back out. Did you talk about the signs? No, I'm just looking at my just, colors. I Sorry. just checked them everywhere else for the sign, and they're not anywhere. Yeah, they're going to be hard to find. Just like when everybody saw the home sweet home and it's good to be home. Those sold out all through the whole spring. And now, because um, the suppliers got in all their spring for this year, um, we're already done with spring. So this is our eight and a half inch. And this one's gonna be a four and a half inch loop as well. The fact that we've already measured the bottom one just allows me to kind of put my fingers in them, pull, and I know that the ribbon length is the same. This uh, one's- Thanks, I love the black door. <laughs> isn't the black door pretty? I think I want to. Pull that one just a little bit. It's a dual use because we can flip it around. It's on rollers, casters, and we the other side is white. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's black on one side, white on the other. Matter of fact, when our kids come, they're like, did you paint the door? I'm like, no, the other side's white. Mostly what they see us is with the white door. But yes, we painted the one side black. So you can have a nice farmhouse look. It looks good on designs like this where it just kind of washes out on a white door. Okay, now we go black. God, I already did my dovetail. So this one will be eight inches with four inch loop. Good question, Sharon. She'll probably look at it once she gets the sign on. She's like, where are you gonna place the bow? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, I make the bow and then I'm like, we'll look at the sign and then we'll figure out mm, where can we put it? Uh, we can actually do quite a bit because the enter at your own risk is off to the left, right, my right. 
So it's not going to impede my sign or my bow if I was to allow it to hang over slightly. And it does have a lot of detail in this arm. It does. You could hang it below. Like I've done that in the past when we did the home sweet home ones, but that's because everything went to the left, which is generally where I place a lot of my ribbon is on the left hand side. Oops, those don't need to be there. The last one, we're gonna finish with the bats, which is gonna be a seven and a half inch tail with a three and a half inch loop. Seven and a half? D, yeah. Um, originally this sign she got from Deco Exchange, but it is really sold out in a lot of places. So you'll just have to keep checking everywhere, every couple days. Hopefully they'll restock it. Yeah, it's just crazy how sometimes you'll just, you know, randomly be sitting and then you're like, oh, so-and-so has gone live in their warehouse. So you click on and it's like, they show you the sign and you're like, oh my God, I don't have time to add anything else to my cart. I'm just going to get the sign and check out. Because if you wait and try to load some other stuff in the cart, you're going to probably miss it. This is our last one. Okay. And then we'll figure out where we will put this. And if we need any more ribbon. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaner. We're going to go black. And because I did this once before, because this one is super deep, we're going to go ahead and double up. So let me just get the ribbon all secured in my little sandwich. And then we'll extend our pipe cleaners because we're poofing it, meaning that if I was doing 10 inch poofs, it's five inches up and five inches down. So my pipe cleaner is probably not five inches at this stage. So I'm gonna need to extend it. So all that means is bring another pipe cleaner in and just twist it. This way you know you have more than enough. Because the last thing you want to do is have just enough and you're grabbing it and then you pull your bow that you've already fluffed then you got to fluff it all over again. So we are extending our pipe cleaners. Okay. I was making sure I had enough for my sign. I do. There in my cart. Clara, the pipe cleaners, um, a lot of times she'll get the black and the standard colors from Hobby Lobby. They're pretty good pipe cleaners. Yeah, I, yeah, Hobby Lobby. Because you get four, 140 for $4.99. Mm -hmm. So see, I made really long. So now I'm going to put this on my fluff board and we'll fluff it. So this is just an 18 by 24 inch cutting board. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaner, I'm going to hook it on my C-hook and then I'll just keep it from sliding off the board so it gets hooked on just like that. And then you're going to separate top from bottom. You're going to separate a tail from its loop, go to the other side and do opposite. So tail is going to go out this side, loop is going over here. Go back down here, because we did tail this way, we're gonna put our loop here and our tail here. Ignore all this mess. Same to the other side, we're gonna bring our tail over and our loop. And then what it does is it alternates your colors as you're going around. So you have alternating color loops, alternating color tails, and then you just follow the pattern all the way down. So here's our orange. We're gonna go orange. Then we're gonna go gray. Then gray. Then we're gonna go, let's twist right here. 
we're going to go orange and or sorry black black then we're going orange and then orange now once you have everything separated this is where you open your loops you'll pull them open you'll kind of lay whatever colors you want to go in between each loop Make sure you get those open. You want the bottom ones the same. Kind of pull these over. Open, open. And then the tails, you're just going to kind of put a little arc in them. This way they drape down and over your wreath. Oh, Kristen, that was super nice. She said, best bows in the business, in my opinion. Aw, thanks. I've been doing it a while. All I can say is practice, practice, practice. One day you'll just make a bow and you'll be like, wow, that looks like a really good bow. Holy heck, how'd I do that? So there is our bow for this. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this off. Uh, Clara, no, she didn't spray the sign. That's actually how it comes. You can spray probably a clear lacquer over if you want it to kind of protect it more. But you you know. have to be careful if you spray the sign with the lacquer because it's white. I don't know if the glitter on the sign would be color fast or if it would start to bleed. Um, and then you, if so, like test it someplace inconspicuous to see. And then you want to make sure that if you're using a lacquer, it's a non-yellowing because you'll tell the minute that you go to spray the sign, if it's not non-yellowing, it will yellow all the white parts of your sign. Or spray clear enamel as long as it's non-yellowing. It always has to be non-yellowing. So I'm going to cut those off. We're going to go ahead and add our pipe cleaners because our sign is more than three quarter inch thick. So see, just Hobby Lobby. Um, 140 for $3.99. So I usually get them in white, beige, and black, uh, red, white, and green at Christmas time. So I'm just going to staple these. So I get a little bit loud. Sorry, <laughs> I know. I'm gonna twist it just so they don't slide out on my staple. Do it here. Twist. Oh so, yeah, I mean they're safe as long as they're outdoors, as long as they don't have direct sun on them. Let's see. Okay, now we get to see where everything's gonna go. So, if we place the sign here, leaves us quite a bit of room for our bow, which would be right about here, which I'm loving. I like that look. It is gonna kind of hard to tell. Let's see. Kind of see it like that. So that's kind of where we're gonna go. So, sign's kind of off. So we'll get this all the way down to the bottom. We don't want to pull it too far down. We don't want to collapse everything that we just built back up, but we do want to make sure it's attached to the frame and not just free floating around deco mesh down there somewhere. So there's that one. I guess some of the people ask us about this table. Oh, the stapler? Yeah. Um, it's a yeah. Black and Decker, Black and Decker Power Shot Ergonomic Stapler. You can get, you can order online, even Amazon or Amazon carries Lowe's up. or Home Depot usually too. Yeah, I got it for Steve because I watched him struggle every year putting our Christmas lights up, doing the staple this way, and I was like, it'd be so much easier to push down. So it's an ergonomic stapler. 
so I stole it back. And you use quarter inch staples. Yeah, always quarter inch staples. Okay. There we go. Nestle it in there. I don't want it over that way a little bit. Now we will make sure with that extension piece that we added, we want to make sure that our tails are not trending over our side. Just like that would be pretty. So you always have to make sure you can get it through all the layers of mesh to the bottom. Sometimes you get it first go around. Sometimes you don't. Always want to make sure you're above one, below the other. I had a feeling that was on the same side. So of course, the minute I go to readjust it, now it doesn't want to go back through. Claire, yeah, the signs, they are MDF basically. So like I said, if you want to spray paint it with a clear enamel and spray paint the front and back, just make sure it's not yellowing and just let it dry. Test the sign first. I'm gonna emphasize that because it has glitter glued to it. So if you spray it and the glitter runs, then you ruin the sign, just for the sake of like trying to protect the sign. So do a small inconspicuous test somewhere on the sign. Because I'd hate to say, oh yeah, just go ahead and do it. Make sure you have non-yellowing lacquer and then it oozes. Because most of the ones don't have glitter added to the design. So I'm just getting it all seated where it needs to go. Let's see what we think from this way. I'm going to take some of my curls and tuck them down because I want my bow to sit. A little closer to the sign, not float on top of the, the curls. There we go. And then I'm going to add a couple more um, ribbon tails to some of these um, ends that are over here. I think I have one over here. So I'm going to add some damask on here, the black. So I'm going to do a couple 14 inch pieces, 14, so add a couple of these to occupy that. I'll dovetail these so we really fill it so it looks really rich. That's kind of like my cheater's way of not doing one at a time. I just do the tops and then I do the bottoms. So we'll add these in here. Other side. I'm like looking to see do I have any other ones at the bottom. Jean Jordan said gorgeous bro. Thanks, Jean. Sometimes you just have to move the curls because they kind of pop up in the middle of things. I'm like, mm, go that way. We'll add some of our orange fat ribbon. I think we did this last time. And we just did these at 14 inches as well. 14 or 18? 14. Because they're just going to sit on top like tails. They're not going to be half bows. will go 
go right on top. There's that. We'll flip it over here. Just ring it's definitely going to be a thick three because it's going to be probably <laughs> eight inches thick. Mm, yeah. Just because the bow and sitting on top of everything. Yeah, it will. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. It looks nice on the front door though because it's so fluffy. Thanks, Sharon. So that's one gorgeous wreath. Thanks, Sharon. For Venus, and how much would you charge for this? Um, this one on my website right now is going for one oh seven. So, and I'm not done with it just yet. Let's see, I have a, one more piece underneath here. And I'm going to add my orange too. I'm like finishing up the last little couple ties that are underneath. So, I'm just making sure that we don't have like empty spaces underneath. That, you know, if you're lifting the bow, you see like an empty pipe cleaner or tinsel ties, so we're filling the ones that are, are that were around the outside. So, so yes, where can I get this sign? The sign was originally from Deco Exchange online, but a lot of the places are sold out, so you just have to keep checking different places like the Reed Shop, Craft Outlet, um, Waterman's Loft, Deco Exchange, and just keep checking every day. Or every couple days. Yeah, because when they come in, they're going to sell out the same day. Okay. So this is the last one, I think. And then we'll add our embellishment um, balls to the outside just to kind of dress up that tinsel that looks kind of dry, in my opinion. to get my bow to sit a little. Hi, Alix. So it's not so fluffy. Alix, so you painted your door black. That's actually the back side of the door. It's the back side. <laughs> so if you twist it around, which I'll show you in a second. Dual use. Hmm? Dual use. Dual use door. One black, one white. You got to do it black for all the farmhouse. You know, most of the time everything's on the white door and then we have the navy door which is in the front, so, no, okay. Um, so what I will do is I will add what's called scatters and fillers to my tinsels. So it's like a charcoal gray glitter. So these are just gonna go on in place. John had said um, for the sign, try White Bayou Creations and Festive Creations by Stephanie also. So check everywhere. Yeah. Like I said, the best way is just, you know, Google search it. It's going to be hard to find. And then if you secure one, that's probably going to be it. So word of caution, don't promise, like, if somebody sees it, they didn't snatch it up in time to purchase it from you. Don't promise that you can, you know, remake it another one. Because the odds are they're probably not going to be back in stock. So whatever places have them, I, it's doubtful they're going to get restocked. Um, you can also try PLY wreath signs um, com and see if she has any. Okay. Karen, that's a good question. So that came in late, sorry. What oh. makes you decide to use a work wreath instead of the Dollar Tree form? The work wreaths are so much more expensive to me compared to one dollar. Does it make the wreath thicker or something? Um, the fact that I I did the poof and the curl, it just gives me much more to work with, like as far as each individual um, space. Like I don't think I could get it this full on a Dollar Tree wreath frame. So 
The only reason I'm using them is just because I have them sitting in my garage and I really want to empty that tub. So we've had these work wreaths for years. So I'm just like, hey, do we have orange? He's like, yeah, you want orange? I'm like, yeah, give me all the orange ones. Let's use those. I think this is the last one. There might be one more. There's one more. Okay. Yeah, because you were like, oh, there's, I think you said there's two more. And I was like, mm -hmm. just give me the two. And I'll work with the two for now. Uh, Deborah, the one, you said 107? Yeah, 107. Uh, no, that, that does not include shipping, Deborah. No. It's um, $25 FedEx shipping, though. So if you ordered it today, you'll have it by next week, Thursday, I believe. Mm -hmm. Don also said Fuser's Crafts and maybe Fifth Street Studio, maybe two. Yeah, it's just going to be a stay on the search every day kind of thing. That's why I was like, I just want to get my one or two out. And then I'm out. I'm done with the search. But like I said, keep trying because they're coming out with them in all the holiday themes. Um, matter of fact, if you want to grab the... I took the Christmas one and I have it sitting on the tub in the craft room. I'll show you guys what the one of the Christmas ones looks like. It's more of the whimsical kind of cutesy, but I'll show you what to keep an eye out for. Again, deco exchange. I just happened to be tuning in at the time they were doing their live sale. Seven? Yeah. And it's funny. Yeah, Kaylee's like, you need to do this one. I was like, mm, copyright. The way she wanted it done. Okay. And then, let's see. Looking for a big one. Arvini, yeah, she already had those, um, the vase fillers or scatters. We've had, you know, we replenish those every year. Mm, like in the gold. In the fall, you just make sure you pick up a couple bags of the fall and then See, the fall, colors. the fall gives you, and these are at Hobby Lobby now. So fall gives you brown, orange, and lime green. So I just take the orange. I just add them all to the same because fall is Halloween slash uh, fall. <laughs> and... <laughs> Um, I just went and I got, I think these came out at Christmas. So see when Hobby Lobby did have, um, Halloween, this was the Halloween one. And then, yeah, the Christmas shop came out with the black. So, um, but Hobby Lobby is starting to roll out all of their stuff. So just kind of look for what would you add these for. I don't have any solid, solid black anymore, just the charcoal gray. So, um, yeah. Oh, what you guys want to see. Let me put this back. Um, let's put this back in. The Christmas one. So this is one of two Christmas that are coming out. This, again, has glitter on it. But it says, this house is under elf watch. So it has an elf here. So it's great for like the whole elf in the shelf or people that are into the lime, the green and the white. Mm -hmm. So um, and Hobby Lobby actually has elf ribbon that came out this year with this entire color palette. So um, and there's a little bit of glitter on the roof. I see it's like, yeah, an it's all the outline along the roof. And then under this, it's all glitter, glitter, glitter around the wreath. Um, and then on his hat. So, yeah, keep checking these. Again, um, Deco Exchange had them. So just look, because the house is becoming available. They have it for fall. I haven't seen the fall one yet, um, but it's, it's coming. I just don't know when they'll have it out. So let me um, just add this one, and then I'll go ahead and put it on the door. This way I can add my little styrofoam ball for just a glitter. And then, let me take this off. There's my other bowl. Put this on. Okay. So, anyway, just don't want to shut it off. 
There is our Halloween. Sorry that we're all set. I think everything is where it needs to be, right? Is it hanging straight, Steve? Yeah, it's a little crooked, it's a little low on the left. There you go. Yep. There. So, see, it looks great on a black door. But the black kind of will blend. But the other side of the door is this white. So, for those of you that are like, what happened to the white door? Look. This is right there. Mm -hmm. So, it's just nice when you have props that you can just swivel and you just make them work. So, you go by your door at Lowe's, leave the white side white, put your door handles on, um, and then paint the other side dark. You can paint it black, you can paint it red, gray, blue. I try to keep it neutral so that you can pair it easier. So what questions do you guys have that I can possibly answer for you? Venus is beautiful, or Venus is beautiful. Awesome. That's why I can't wait to make mine. Yeah, it'll be so much Karen fun. Karen says I love it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So, don't forget, come back and join me Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to do a fall design for that, just like a regular fun fall. I think you guys will like that one. No, it's not the fall house. Um, and then uh, private group people, I will see you Sunday at 3 Pacific, um, 5 Central, and 6 Eastern time. And that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, you can purchase it at catscreationsandmore.com. It's only on my website for now. Private group. Uh, private group. If you want to join me a private group, you'll find all the information on my website. Steve linked it below. It's $17 a month. We're doing business classes all the way through July. And then in August, we flip to eight design classes a month. So make sure you're like joined up and, and ready to go by August. Okay. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Good night.